Hello everybody, welcome to a sheepish look at Cobalt. My name is Gunna and today we're looking at an action platformer. This game has some really cool gunplay and just combat mechanics in general. I love that there's a lot of just in-depth stuff that you can do that kind of gives you the edge over your opponents. Um, just, I'm gonna get into it right now, straight away. There's two different game modes you can choose from, Story and Arcade. I'm gonna show you Arcade first because it's kind of more action-packed. Uh, story mode could be kind of uh, compared to other Metroidvania games, in the sense that it's a very large map, labyrinth kind of uh, location, you kind of go back and forth, do different things, collect stuff, find secrets and all that. It's more slow paced, so I'm going to show it to you a bit later. Uh, for both of these I think you can do local co-op, as you can see here, but I don't have anyone uh, to play with me right now. I ran out of money so I can't pay anyone to pretend to be my friend. Uh, so I'm going to show you challenge mode first. Alright, so you can choose speed and combat, I'm going to show, show you combat because that's where the game really shines. And let's do it. So, uh, first thing to point out is I'm playing with a controller because uh, there isn't actually free aiming in this game, so if that was the case, I would have used a mouse. Um, but you actually can only shoot, as you can see, in front of you, uh, unless you do one or three different things. So you can actually hold the crouch button down, or uh, the sneak button, or you can actually roll, and your opponent, your guy will aim at opponents automatically. Uh, so let me try to show you an example of this. As you can see, I'm crouching right now, and he's actually aiming freely at different enemies. Let's just see. Uh, Come on, jump, dude. Let's, let's show. There you go. See, he's, he's doing that for me. I'm not actually having to do any of that. I can also roll and shoot people. So you might have noticed there I actually deflected some bullets while rolling, which is really cool. Uh, I love the bullet time mechanics in this game. Whoa, nice. I bounced. Oh, nice. I mean, it's just so satisfying. Uh, so you actually do have a vulnerability while rolling. If the enemy projectile hits your feet, then you die. Um, or if it hits your head, you actually get an extra bonus and it'll deflect right at the opponent and actually hurt them. If it hits you anywhere else, you just deflect the bullet, so that's that's good enough for me anyway. Uh, whoa. With this gun, I guess it's like some sort of sniper, so if I crouch it actually aims... I can see ahead of me quite far, which is really nice. Uh, so you've got three different types of weapons. You can actually melee like this with... <laughs> look at that armor, it looks so long. Uh, you've got a shooty shooty weapon, that's what they call them uh, professionally, and you've got a thrown weapon. I wasted that, but you get the idea. Uh, I love that there's so many small cool things you can do, like while you're rolling, if you punch the ground at the right time, you can see actually my guy gets lifted into the ground a tiny bit, uh, into the air a tiny bit. And this is kind of a small thing you can do, like while rolling, then you double jump and you'll fly at a cool angle and um, you'll just like gain a lot of really large amount of speed and fly across the map and take your enemies by surprise. It's really cool. It's actually an uh, online mode in this game as well, but I can't play it because this is an early mode, an early version of the game. And uh, there's no one playing at the moment. I'm really sorry for my stuttering today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whoa! Oh man, that almost hit my feet. Oh! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh man, I really thought that was gonna hit my feet, but I actually managed to get away. Oh, and I shot the grenade. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, the combat is so satisfying. And in the story mode, it's really satisfying because you collect a ton of um, collectibles on the ground. As you can see here, actually, I'm salvaging some stuff as well. And uh, you find secrets in the story mode, which is really fun. You kind of like dig through walls or. Uh, just do different cool things, it's really nice. Nice! Oh, did I die? No, I did it. I completed the level. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I've actually, this is the only other challenge I've done. It's really fun because I love the speed in it. You actually slide down this whole place. You also have a choice, by the way, at the beginning here to do different things. Um, I can see the difference in these in the main menu. Oh, there you go. I think it says, here. no, it doesn't. It, it would be nice if it told me what the difference is here, but oh well. Let's just go with Reflect Shield because it's safe to... It, to assume that it probably reflects bullets. So uh, you can see a guy here, I'm just gonna slide into him, get on my face! He didn't get knocked away, he got killed by the icicles. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, let's just, we can kill the guys here. Oh man, look at this! Yeah! Just go. <laughs> I just slid down the mountain, shooting like crazy. Get away from me, shield guy! Whoa, whoa, that's a homing missile, I don't wanna be anywhere near that. That was close. This would actually probably be very fun to play with a friend. I'm gonna. Is there someone down there? I think there might be. Maybe just throw a little bit of a grenade. Whoa, there's some guys here though. Let's throw another grenade there. Yeah! And uh, I love that while you roll, you can actually... Uh, it's, a, it's a way to kind of shoot in different directions, but you can also use it when throwing a grenade, for example. Uh, you start rolling and then you, like, as mid-roll you throw it and it'll, like, fly really far because of the angle. You get the idea, I don't need to explain it very painfully. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much today. Whoa, 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 hey! That was very rude. That was incredibly rude. Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna just speed run through this level. And then maybe I can show you. What am I doing? I think I can just click next challenge. Did I complete the level or did I beat or did I lose there? I'm not sure at all. So I've got some stealth there. I've got, okay, let's go with max offense because I want to just be loud today. I don't know. I feel like it. Is this a sniper thing? Oh, there you go. I shot that thingy. And, uh, all right, we're being a bit stealthy. Oh, there, look at that. Look, I'm stealth. Look 
when I crash, I become invisible. I didn't even realize. Boom! Oh, nice! And uh, I love that it, this is in the arcade mode and in the story mode, by the way. Uh, you actually get bonus points depending on how you kill enemies. So, for example, if you surprise attack them and they don't know that you're coming, then you'll get a few extra points there. What is this projectile? Let's throw it and see. It, it goes poof, that's what it does. Hey there, Ruin Guard. Mm, I sniped you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Did I? I feel like I shot back the projectile. I didn't actually roll into it. Let's just punch this block. Uh, nothing useful, it seems, in this. Uh, sometimes you can actually break stuff and find things inside them, like crates. You can also do some lock picking and uh, open different sorts of. Yeah, I did shoot the projectile! That was cool. And, uh, yeah, okay, so I did fail in the previous one. Uh, what was I saying? You can lock pick stuff, you can actually hack computers and all that. Uh, let's do one more, maybe, challenge, and then I'll show you the story mode a bit. Yeah, and let's. I kind of left off at a hard place. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't struggle too much. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. It looks maybe kind of interesting. You can, you can also change the music. In, uh, when you play these. By the way, the music is awesome. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, to be honest. Whoever did the soundtrack, great job. It's It's got that really awesome kind of synth sound to it. I'm gonna let you listen to a bit of it later on uh, if we get to a cooler part. I'm also probably gonna show it to you in the outro. One awesome thing, by the way, that they implemented into the story mode, if there's like some music playing somewhere next to a radio, I completely... I do this all the time in games. I actually dance to the music with my character. Don't judge me. It's fun. But this game actually implemented some sort of dancing mechanism where it will judge how well you're moving to the beat. Like, I was crouching to the beat like this and it'll give me points and stuff and it was just giving me achievements for how well I was doing and I just love that. It's just a really small detail. The game is actually pretty funny by the way. The story mode has some dialogue and cutscenes. Wow, this level is kicking my ass. And um, it's, it's a pretty funny game actually. The dialogue is nicely written. Alright, let's try and... Uh, I have to say, the only frustrating thing that I found in this game was sometimes... <laughs> Guy flew away. Uh, sometimes it's a bit annoying that you can't freely aim. I mean, now it's all right in the arcade mode, uh, but in the story mode, sometimes there's like some projectile, uh, not projectiles, some barriers above me or below me, and the only way that I can figure out to shoot it is because if I crouch or use a sneak button, he'll only auto aim onto enemies. But if I want to break a wall in front of me, he won't auto aim into that. So I have to just roll and hope that the shot like that goes upwards. Um, and sometimes it's really annoying. Like I wasted an entire clip trying to shoot the wall above me, but it wasn't going. Uh, what is, what's this? Oh, whoa, whoa, someone's aiming at me. Alright, let's try to story mode, shall we? I, uh, I can imagine this game would be very fun with another person to play with. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. Alright, let's try this out. This is story mode, by the way, this is the hub world. Um, you can actually, you can see down there, right under me, there's like a head over there, and another piece. I'm assuming you can probably unlock some character pieces, because you actually have, even in arcade mode, you can choose different armor pieces, and they'll give you different sorts of stats. So I'm assuming that happens as well in the story mode. So let's just go to the first level. I'm only in the first level, but I've been playing it for maybe 20 to 30 minutes, so it's actually quite a long level. Uh, right now I'm in a stealth section, which is the first time I've ever done one. Uh, there was also one thing here, let's try and... Let's try and do this really quick. Whoa, 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 hey dude! Uh, so you can see already, the story mode is actually quite... Whoa, it's actually got a map, it's got uh, different rooms, different sorts of ways to approach battles. Uh, which is pretty nice. It's I, I like that it's a different pace. It's very slow compared to the arcade mode. So this is a stealth mode. It's probably going to be even slower. Um, and I think you actually like collect things like salvage, and you can use them to to get weapons and respawn. Don't quote me on that, but that's kind of what I'm understanding. The game hasn't actually explained that, so it's a bit strange. Oh great, a new sort of mechanic. <laughs> uh, you can normally lockpick doors, but I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, okay, so I. Th I think that means I need to move this one to the left. Okay, cool, I did it, I think. Cool. <laughs> I didn't fully understand it, but I think I understood it. Also, you can reload. Uh, I'm not sure if all guns allow it. There you go, they did. Uh, I'm not sure if you notice it. It's kind of hard to notice. Uh, but let me try to do it now for you. So when you re when I'm reloading, you can see that there's like bars going down. And uh, if you press the reload button again at the exact right time, you'll kind of do get a boost and you'll reload faster and I don't know it's hard to explain but I'm sure you can probably get it some other games have done that I think like Gears of War and stuff like that have done it uh, if I make too much noise I'll sh what oh I make too much noise if I shoot out the alarm all right then it's not shoot the alarm it's just shoot this laser BAM <laughs> that's probably the same amount of noise but it's okay uh, what's this oh we've got a power node here this is pretty cool there's actually in the story mode different places that are powered so you can see here for example uh, this door. Is it powered? No, it's not. But I, I'm assuming if I throw this in here, then it's powered. Bam! There you go. So, uh, you can actually take out the power nodes and put them into different generators around the map, and it'll power down certain areas and power up certain areas. It's, it's nice. 
Uh, I've got this pickaxe. Okay, let's try going this doorway. <laughs> I like how the one time I'm in story mode now recording it, I'm actually doing a stealth section. Whoa, 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 hey, dude. Don't, 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 don't attack me. Don't attack me. I'm, I'm friendly. <laughs> oh, come on. I have this shotgun, which is now useless to me because I'm dead. <laughs> You're super dead. Awesome. Uh, you can actually salvage and find random weapons in the areas, but they do have a certain amount of ammo. And uh, you can- oh my god, this again. Alright, let's try go back. I want to try and complete a secret area with you guys that I found. The secret area is actually pretty fun to find and uh, quite satisfying and rewarding as well to find. Whoa, that was close. You can't reflect uh, explosives, by the way, with the rolling attack. I should have mentioned that earlier. So, you know, it does have to- Ooh, that was close. You have to devise some sort of different si types of strategies depending on what projectile is being shot at you, which is nice. Uh, I found a secret area over here on the left. So I'm probably gonna get pulverized again. It was just some turret which shot constantly and I couldn't get past it at all. Warning, turret's active when light is shining. All right, let's try and not die. I'm definitely, almost definitely gonna die. Uh, do I have another? No, this is like a, oh, that is a bit longer range. No, it's doing nothing. All right, let's try and pray and get past this. Whoa, my head flew away. Uh, okay, I respawn here. All right, let's just, let's just rush this stealth mode, shall we? This stealth part. Uh, and when I say rush, I mean let's actually try to do stealthy. Okay, I think these are both meant to be on the left. Okay, right. I kind of understand how it works. Uh, all right, let's try. Let's try figure this out. This kind of reminds me of a stealth bastard now. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna take out that alarm. We've got a paranoid here. What's this? Is this a secret? It, it looks like it. I got something. Uh, it says ghost under my character, by the way. I'm not completely sure what that is. I think it. It's talking about the way I'm playing mostly because most of the story mode right now, I've actually been taking my enemies by surprise. Because I found that that's the most effective strategy. So maybe it's doing that? Oh, I think this is one of the examples I was telling you about. Where there's a barrier above me right now. And I'm tr I trying to take it out, but I can't. So I need to roll. There you go, see? And hope that it hits it. It's not too annoying, but it would have been nice. I could have. I would have been very happy to uh, have had some sort of mode to at least shoot upwards. Not necessarily something to shoot freely. Because I understand that's what you were going for in the game. But, uh... Ah! Okay, at least I can shoot downwards, that's nice. Secret found, yeah. It's, oh, it's so satisfying just running through collectibles, either to scrap things or uh, weapons, it's very nice. All right, so we're in the captain's room in the ship. This is kind of a place where I can activate the radio. There's also a radio scattered throughout the story mode, but I'm gonna come here because it's got some disco lights, and I love it. In the outro, I'm just gonna show you a bit of the rhythm music, and you can listen to the music as well. Uh, the music in-game, uh, as opposed to the music on the radio in-game, is actually pretty cool, the soundtracky kind of stuff. It's synthy kind of dark music. I told you about it before, I think. But yeah, I mean, just the soundtrack is awesome. And the game in general is really fun. I mean, uh, I haven't shown you all the small details you can do when it comes to combat. The game actually teaches you a lot of it in the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, it's a really fun, satisfying game to play. I mean, the combat is just awesome, and I'm, I can assume that it would be much more fun even with more players, competitive or cooperatively. Uh, so please check out the link in the description to buy the game on Steam if you do like the look of it. And uh, please like and share the video as well if you enjoyed it, it'll help me out a lot. Until next time, goodbye, I love you!